Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Middleware Techie and in today's session we will see how expressions work in SAP Cloud Integration. So expressions in SAP Cloud Integration are used to dynamically set or manipulate data within integration flows and this enhances the flexibility and functionality of integration flows. Expressions allow for operations such as data transformation, conditional logic and variable assignments and can be written in scripting languages like Groovy or XPath. Expressions enable tasks such as modifying message content, setting dynamic values for headers, properties or payloads, conditional routing based on evaluated conditions and accessing message content. These capabilities are essential for creating robust adaptable integration scenarios and efficiently handling complex logic and data processing tasks. So let's see with practical example how expression works. Let's connect the sender to the start. Choose HTTPS adapter. Give here address. Now get one content modifier and place it here. Let's name it as expressions. Now let's go to the exchange property. Add one exchange property. I'm giving name as date. Choose your expression. And now in source value, we have to provide expression. So here in the GitHub, I have provided various types of expressions and their explanations and how we can write their expressions. So let's take this first one. So this is for the date and uh, it's written in the format year, month and date. Let's copy the expression and paste in the source value. So this expression basically gives us date for today and in data type put as java.lang.string go to the message body here choose as expression and suppose I am writing message as today's date is our property here property dot date let's deploy the integration flow go to the deployment status Let's copy the endpoint and paste it in Postman. Let's check authorization. Choose basic auth and save. And now trigger the endpoint. Here we can see as today's date is August 1st and we got the date here. Let's change the expression so to get the date in good format let's add slash here and now deploy Send it again. Now you can see it's 2024 8 1. It's, this is the year, month, and then day. Let's check another expression, and this time we'll place it in header. Here uh, we'll write just new date. Choose expression. And let's get the another expression so let's take this one 
so as you can see here i have provided explanation what is mean by that y m d h m and s so this so uh, it stands for hours n stands for minute and s stands for seconds go to our integration suit and now paste the value here now go to the message body let's add one more line here also also the date is and the new date let me check the name is okay it's new date only deploy the integration flow okay this deployed click on send now we can see we got two messages here this is the same date and again we got hours minutes seconds as well so these are the default expression you can also create your custom expressions here so this is about how you can use your expressions in content modifier these expressions can also be used in groovy scripting we will see that in our next sessions so this is it for today please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next session Thank you.